water. It's one resource we can't live without. But there's only so much water to go around. That makes managing our water supply pretty important to our everyday lives. In Florida, the water belongs to all of us, and we have to share what we have with everyone. It may seem that getting water to our homes is the most important use of water, but water is also needed for agriculture, industry, commercial enterprise, and mining, not to mention for recreation and general enjoyment. Imagine 50,000 swimming pools. That's how much fresh water is used every day in the Southwest Florida Water Management District. That's a billion gallons of fresh water. Every day we take about 45,000 swimming pools of groundwater from the aquifer and about 5,000 swimming pools of surface water from rivers, reservoirs, and desalination facilities. More than 80% of that billion gallons is used for the public water supply and agriculture. That's a lot of water. Having clean water come out of our tap seems so simple from our viewpoint but it's actually a pretty complicated process. Government agencies work together to balance how and where our water is used, to provide water treatment and delivery, and to protect our water resources and the environment. All so we can drink clean water, bathe and flush our toilets without worrying. But in order for all of that to happen, there are rules. You can't just install a well, use enormous amounts of water, or develop property without permission you have to get a permit from one of the five water management districts in Florida. As a resident of the Southwest Florida Water Management District, part of your tax dollars pays for district scientists to ensure that our water resources are protected and used wisely. So clean water will continue to come out of our taps. Prior to issuing permits, there's a set of rule criteria that must be met. Part of that rule criteria is evaluating sophisticated groundwater models and surface water models to ensure that the natural environment is protected. It's the district's responsibility to meet all public needs as well as protect the natural environment. Most of us get our water from a water utility that has a permit to pump water from well fields or a surface water source such as a river. This water is treated and then delivered to us through an underground pipe system. Generally, if you pay a monthly water bill, your water is provided by a public or private water utility. Some homes have private wells, which are not part of any utility. Once water comes into your home, it's up to you to use it wisely. Simple things like shorter showers, full loads of laundry, and even turning the water off while brushing your teeth can save hundreds of gallons of water per year inside the home. Minimizing lawn irrigation can be a big water saver too. Lawn irrigation accounts for as much as 50% of all household water use. You may not think your conservation activities matter, but if you think of everyone conserving every day, it really adds up. Water is our most important resource, but it is limited. So we need to all work together to preserve and protect our water supply for ourselves and future generations. We can all help by conserving water. To learn more, visit our website at watermatters.org. Water, let's save it for our future.